In no particular order, here are some of the worst places to drive around the world. Number 10. All of Russia Ah, Russia. Putin's land sure knows how to put up a show when it comes to driving. You guys have seen all the crazy Russian drivers, right? Russian driving videos are an internet sensation. There are plenty of videos out there that show some of the most insane footage of what it's like driving in Russia. It seems that within Russia, it's understood that a good driver is a person that speeds through roads without giving a damn about anything. Because, duh, driving really fast literally gets you places faster. Like many other countries, Russia has a high number of crazy drivers because of a lack of strict regulations for people applying to get a driver's license. It's common for many people to bribe their way into the system, which means there are a lot of drivers who have no clue what the actual rules of driving are. Apparently, Russians tend to justify their high-speed driving with the notion of if an accident happens, there's nothing they could have done about it. This means they have a general disregard for safety measures when it comes to driving, including the use of a safety belt. That's just pretty dumb if you're asking us. As if that weren't enough, bribing supposedly is a common thing among drivers and authorities. There are plenty of stories of people who would pay a bribe just to get out of a DUI. Driving in Russia, would you guys do it? Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. Number 9. Seoul, Korea Whenever we think of traveling, some of us start getting stressed. And that's completely understandable. Who likes having to sit in traffic getting nowhere? This stress only seems to intensify whenever we add driving in a foreign city to the equation. Well, whenever you go to Seoul, the capital of South Korea, avoid driving. Driving around the city can seem like a very daunting task, even for the most experienced driver. Lines, arrows, colors, and more types of lines seem to be everywhere going in every direction. A lot of the markings will probably mean nothing to any of us that haven't driven there. What's even more confusing is the culture the city has developed around driving. Either you take the lead or you get out of the way. There's no time for asking permission. Many drivers have compared Seoul to New York City, another place famous for its drivers. Although very similar, Seoul doesn't have the added layer of people yelling at you when you make a wrong turn down a one-way street. Koreans apparently simply don't care what you do. There's no point in waving or making eye contact. So there's no reason to stress over the lines drawn on the ground. Just make a decision and grip it and rip it. What's your driving style? Let us know in the comment section. Number 8. Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia How many of you guys have been to Mongolia? Did you guys know that roughly 3 million people live in the entire country? Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia, may not be the most notorious city in the world, but it certainly becomes a hotspot known for stressful driving. How is this possible? Well, considering the fact that the city was originally created to house only 400,000 people, and nowadays is home to over 1.3 million Mongolians, you can understand how overcrowding has made traffic incredibly bad. So-called solutions provided by the traffic authorities are very difficult to understand, especially if you're a visitor. Officials have come up with a solution that allows only a specific amount of cars to drive per day. For example, if a car's license plate ends in a 1 or 6, that car isn't allowed to drive on Mondays. If it ends in a 2 or 7, it's not allowed to drive on a Tuesday, and so on. While this is a solution in theory, things work out quite differently. Many people forget or choose to ignore these restrictions. Of course, they do face the risk of fines as Mongolian authorities are constantly checking for violators. Add the congestion to the lack of traffic signals and bad road conditions, and driving in this city isn't fun for anyone behind the wheel. Number 7. Manila, Philippines The land of the wild, or at least that's how many people think of Southeast Asia when it comes to driving, and Manila is no exception. The capital of the Philippines has garnered a reputation for being one of the most difficult cities to navigate with a car, mainly for the blatant disregard to traffic norms, signs, or even safety. It's apparently not uncommon to see people blatantly run red lights. Manila is a constant place for traffic jams and interesting sights, such as seeing the person next to you driving while watching an old-school DVD movie in the car. Manila roads are a tricky obstacle course for any driver, 
but particularly for inexperienced drivers. With road repairs going on basically everywhere, drivers will often find themselves slowing down at very unexpected parts of the road. Let's not forget about the pedestrians that pop up out of nowhere. Have we talked about speed limits yet? Because speed limits seem to just be a suggestion, since a lot of people seem to drive as fast as they want. Even with one-way streets, one-way signs are just a suggestion. Because of this chaos, accidents do happen quite often. And with that comes tremendous traffic jams. Number 6. Athens, Greece Greece is no stranger to road rage and optional speed limits, as most inhabitants of Athens seem to experience these practices on a daily basis. Apparently, following rules while driving in Greece is seen as a weakness. Why Athenians would actually judge a man on how they drive is a bit interesting, but hey, different strokes for different folks. Anyways, just like a lot of other places on our great planet, people on motorcycles don't follow any rules and they do as they please. Also, anger isn't just reserved for drivers. The anger literally spills onto the streets, although not because of road rage. Many protests happen constantly on the busy streets of Athens, especially around universities where many of the protests happen. In the mountains and rural areas, driving can be treacherous because of things such as narrow roads, blind spots around curves, and unprotected embankments that drop straight off a cliff right into the sea. And if you were thinking about following road signs, unless you read Greek, think again. Most of them are written in Greek and barely scattered around the city. Apparently, very few of these signs are seen around central Athens. Can any of you verify that? Number 5. Rome, Italy I mean, this was expected. With how popular Rome is as a tourist destination, and with how many people live there, the Italian capital is a tough place to get around. Italy in general has been called by some people God's racetrack, as crazy drivers are around everywhere. At least the Italian countryside offers some of the most spectacular views anyone can dream of. But when you get to the capital, the views change quite a bit. So what's it like driving in Rome? Being aggressive pays off. Using your horn is almost like a cold, which allows you to communicate with other drivers and let them know that you're either in a hurry or you want them to get out of your way. Either way, the use of the horn is a common sound heard throughout the city. And as you can imagine, hand gestures are all a part of this scenario. Is it an Italian road situation without gestures? As for the roads, there are streets that are way too narrow for one-way traffic, but somehow it allows two-way traffic. That does not sound like fun. As for the street names and signs, they're either really hard to find or they're just non-existent. Number 4. New Delhi, India India's busy. People-filled streets are the epitome of what the traffic chaos is for many people. Reckless driving and overcrowded roads means New Delhi is basically a parking lot. This city's traffic problems stem from a situation that's embedded in their local culture. Institutional corruption. Hold up, how does corruption affect traffic? Well, people apparently can get a driver's license without even taking a test all for just paying some extra rupees. Studies show that a whopping 54% of New Delhi drivers never even took the mandatory driving test to get a license. Actually, that's below average for all of India, where roughly 60% of drivers surveyed said they never actually took the driving test. Okay, so the majority of drivers really shouldn't be on the road. You can imagine the number of accidents that occur. Traffic lanes are just a suggestion. Cows, which are considered sacred in India, take up the road. Motorcycles and scooters weave in and out of traffic and lane split. Then there's texting and driving with cargo that's, uh, sort of secured. These are just a few of the things to expect when driving in New Delhi. Really, the rule is, there aren't any rules. At least the people are incredibly calm. Number 3. Lagos, Nigeria It's no surprise that the most populated country in all of Africa is on this list. Do we really need to say the bigger the population a city has, the bigger the traffic jam? Traffic in Lagos requires a special kind of mindset, basically one where you pretend you're a New York City taxi driver. Lanes are just a recommendation? Check. Traffic lights are a suggestion? Check. Giant holes in the road appearing out of nowhere? Check. Actually, road conditions are a big part of what makes the city's traffic so slow and nerve-wracking. Bumps and holes are found everywhere. This is why whenever anyone finds a part of a road that doesn't have any bumps, 
you'll see people speeding through like they're in a NASCAR race. The lack of rules also applies for pedestrians, who tend to cross basically anywhere on the road they can. Night traffic in Lagos can actually also become dangerous, as many people highly recommend to keep your doors locked and windows up, as thefts can happen at any point. Number 2. Hanoi, Vietnam When you thought things couldn't get any more stressful, here comes Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, to prove us wrong. A combination of poor road conditions, hectic drivers, lots of cars, and a whole bunch of scooters makes this place an insane place to just walk, much less drive. Scooters are the main ingredient that defines Vietnam driving culture. They are everywhere. People in Vietnam on scooters behave like an army of ants. Scooters tend to go through any space they can find in busy rush hour traffic. If you open a door without checking behind you to see who's coming, you may just hit a scooter. There is no slowing down in this city. Once you start, you just have to keep going. You essentially just have to go with the flow and not stop. Pedestrians are also everywhere, and they're a part of the traffic. They flood streets from every point and simply walk where they feel like. Ignoring them is what most drivers do, risking an accident by doing so. Many people just say this is just part of Vietnam culture, and you just gotta deal with it. Number 1. Chongqing, China While China is known for some of the most impressive construction projects in the world, the city of Chongqing may have just decided to create chaos by implementing the biggest overpass you can imagine. The enormous project, comprised of more than 20 ramps set out on five different levels, has garnered a lot of attention for how confusing it is. Its construction started back in 2009, and it's set to be open in 2019. Some people have already showed their concern for the amount of exits the overpass has, saying that a navigation system is necessary for you to not get lost while using it. This sounds like the tunnel system in Boston, where the GPS cuts off because you're going through a tunnel and exits all of a sudden appear out of nowhere. However, officials dismiss these fears by stating that the amount of signs is enough for any driver to find their way. And if they do get lost, they would only need to drive for about a quarter of a mile to take an exit and get back going the right way. Here's what's next. 